but for Camex, we're making a we're making an exception this okay. year. Okay. Okay. No, that's great. All right, we'll go three, two, and one. Well, hello, everyone. We're back at uh, KMX 2022 uh, live here in Anaheim, California. And I am pleased to have um, Bob Yancey with Hexel uh, is joining me today. Um, Excited to have you on board. I've got uh, I've got a little bio. Um, it's Doctor Bob Yancey, but we'll go Doctor Robert. We'll go by Bob. Today, okay. Right? Yep. <laughs> That's good. Um, uh, Bob has uh, filled numerous roles in his career, including research, technology, development, sales management, business development, and executive role r- executive roles. He currently leads business development for Hexel in the Americas. Uh, which include advanced materials, manufacturing, and engineering products. Um, he has a technical background in composite materials, composite mechanics, uh, micro mechanics, design optimization, additive manufacturing. I could just keep going here. Uh, finite element mo- modeling. Uh, you hold a BS degree in aeronautics and uh, astronaut- astronautics uh, from M- MIT, MS degree in engineering mechanics from Virginia Tech, go Hokies there, and a uh, PhD in material uh, materials engineering from the University of Dayton. I said a lot there. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show, Bob. I'm glad to have you on. Jim, um, So tell us a little bit. Uh, I gave a, a little snippet there. Tell us a little bit about your, uh, your background um, in the industry without talking so much about the education background we know all that but just kind of your your work in the industry okay over the years yeah i mean i actually got uh introduced to composites uh sophomore year in college at mit i grew up in utah and i actually had a neighbor that worked at hercules okay um which uh was the carbon fiber business that hexel eventually acquired in the mid 1990s okay so he started talking to me about composites and said I should uh, apply for an internship at Hercules, and so I did. And so yep. I spent three summers uh, working there and uh, actually was quite interested in uh, um, uh, working for uh, Hercules when I came out sure. of Virginia Tech, uh, but they had a hiring freeze on at the time. Ah. And so I went elsewhere, and so I often comment that I've actually been at Hexel a long, long time. I just took a really <laughs> long sabbatical. Right. Uh, yeah. But that really got me uh, involved, and I spent uh, about 10 years at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base working with, which was really the heart of composites, yeah, uh, materials research. Right. An activity, so got to rub shoulders with a lot of great people at Wright Patterson Air Force Base, um, and then I moved into the software industry, but kind of stayed connected uh, to uh, to composites and. Uh, um, Never and, can get it out of your system. Right? Yeah, it's like, no, it's I've that always itch that keeps yeah, coming. I've always loved composites. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I love the technical challenges sure. and the and the applications for it, and yeah. so it's great that at Hexel that I get to you know be involved with one of the major suppliers of composites in the world. That's wonderful. So let's talk about some of, what are some of the new developments? I know Hexel is, most people know that name uh, in composites and advanced composite materials. Uh, Maybe share some of the current uh, news and what's going on with, uh, with them right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, the pandemic was tough for everybody in the aerospace industry, but uh, we're emerged well. And, and um, uh, so, you know, lots of hiring, lots of activities going on at Hexel. We continue to develop new products, uh, both on the fibers and the matrix side and honeycomb uh, side. Probably the biggest, um, biggest uh, exciting announcement is that uh, we announced last year that we were going to break ground on a new R&T facility in Salt Lake City. Okay. So historically, we did our kind of fibers R&T in Salt Lake City, but our matrix uh, R&T in Dublin, California. Okay. 
Uh, we decided to close down the Dublin, California facility, build a new uh, facility in Salt Lake City, which would really combine fiber and matrix sure. R&T, which there's a lot of synergies there, obviously, okay. uh, with that. And so uh, that's nearing completion, supposed to be done by the end of this year okay. and, uh, um, you know, move in first quarter of next year, probably a grand opening. And so awesome. um, we've been hire- starting to hire a lot of people. So that's really the biggest uh, exciting announcement. Yeah, how uh, big is the example. facility? Uh, yeah, it's a large facility. So mm-hmm. it's on the it's on the uh, campus where our carbon fiber and matrix yeah. uh, prepreg lines. But uh, I don't know what the actual square footage is. Sure. But it's two story building that'll have offices upstairs and a lot of lab facility. It, it's actually a larger footprint than either our fiber and matrix okay. R and T facilities are today. That's wonderful. Congratulations on that. That's, Thank you. That's exciting to move forward. And when uh, that's 2024? Uh, no, no. It'll, oh, uh, we'll do the grand opening oh, uh, first quarter next year. Oh, okay. So the building's almost done. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I'm Walls saying. are up and everything. Yeah. I think they're just doing some of the interior stuff. I drive by there every few weeks. And, yeah. And uh, now, I meant to say 23. I don't know. Yeah. For some reason, I'm thinking next. I keep, for some reason, I keep thinking next year's 24. Yeah. And now, and this year's 23. I don't know what it is. I'm jumping ahead, but uh, but yeah, that's exciting. First of uh, 23. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's great. Um, so, in terms of uh, em- employee size, how big is how big is the organization right yeah, now? Yeah, so we're about 5,000 okay. uh, employees um, uh, globally, but lots of open recs sure. out there. So sure. um, we're we're hiring as fast as we can. Uh, I would say demand uh, in commercial aviation in particular has come back faster than we had anticipated. And yeah, right. uh, so we've got all our fiber lines uh, back up and running and, and um, uh, matrix lines are all running. So everything's good and just uh, um, hiring people and training them and sure. getting them ready to produce material. I got to ask, because I ask this oftentimes with a lot of our, our member companies, um, you know, supply chain, has that been a... I'm sure it's been a headache for you all, and from from standpoint, from a certain standpoint, is that getting better? It is. It is getting better. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a few raw material mm-hmm. supply issues that we still deal with, but it's mostly resolved. Sure. Um, I would say the bigger bottleneck is just uh, you know getting enough people yeah. uh, trained to be Staffing. able to run uh, run these facilities. Staffing is is a is a big <laughs> that's yeah. a big headache with a lot of companies right now. Yeah. Uh, and you're based out. You're, are you based, based in Salt Lake City? Salt Lake City. Okay. Yes. Beautiful area. I got to say, beautiful, uh, beautiful area. Um, was there back in September of last year and spent about a week there. So I okay. loved it. Well, uh, and uh, you know, we'd uh, we'd welcome you to come out to our oh, open to. house when we open up that new R and D facility. Love to. Uh, that's uh, that's. You've got my attention. Okay. So, uh, first of the year. So where can people? Uh, I want to direct them. Hexel.com. You have you all have a booth at um, what's? Do you remember the booth number? It's w. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just uh, right behind us. Yes, right behind <laughs> us. I think row W. Row W. Yeah, okay. and and there's a big uh, Hexel banner up at the top, sure. so you can see us. Bob, thank you so much for stopping okay. by. It's been a pleasure having you on. I really appreciate the coming. It, it was uh, great to uh, get you. I know your schedule is kind of crazy right now so thanks for coming by well thanks for the opportunity a few minutes yeah absolutely take care and enjoy the rest of the show okay thank you yep that's it keep your headphones on just snap a photo for posterity oh okay let me let me let me turn the uh, live off unfortunately i had to